Hi, my name's Lee Pond and welcome to Trout with Lee. We're back here again at Thornwood Springs after the second lockdown. It's just finished, had enough of it. Can't, can't bear it any longer. But we're out today and we've picked probably one of the best days of the, of the week. It's, it's still March, believe it or not, and it's like 22 degrees. We've got a slight breeze coming off the water at the moment, but I don't quite know what to do. This is what we're going to do today, we just don't know. We're going to try buzzers, we're going to try dries. Now Peter, the owner of the, uh, the lakes, has said that they've been catching on buzzers and catching on dries, which isn't unusual for this time of year, I guess. Um, but I'm going to try the bung with buzzers uh, suspended underneath it, and I'm going to try the dries in the, uh, the second lake here, this one. Um, and we'll see how we go. There's a few people fishing today. Can't wait to get going, to be honest with you. I'm just so fed up with this lockdown. Let's go and try and catch some. That's him. I started off using lures with no success. I think the fish had seen enough of the gaudy stuff. So changed over to a Snowby floater with an indicator on seven pound full and mill leader, six foot from the top of the loop, and two size 10 black buzzers set below it at three foot and eight foot. Cast it out and left it as static as possible, but with, still with no idea what depth the fish were patrolling at. One good thing about the indicator method is you will find out the depth they are. There he goes, straight back. So we're halfway along the lake. Local knowledge goes a long, long way. Peter's told us to come up to here and, and fish buzzers rather than the gaudy stuff we've been using. So we've had a couple of casts and it's not been easy, but started taking fish on a regular basis now. And we'll have a few more casts in here and then move over to the dry fly lake, as I'd like to call it, in, a, in an hour or so. Let's see if we can get one of these big brownies out of here. They should have it, we're on the buzzers, so more of a natural food for them this time of the year, obviously. There's a good, what, what we've got in front of me here, I've got this island just to my left hand side and, and, and I can see the water so clear, I can actually see it shallowing off slowly into the middle of the lake. So in between here, we're gonna have a channel and I fancy that's where the fish will be, patrolling in between that channel there. But at the moment, all we've been taking is just the small rainbows. Um, they've only been a couple of pounds, I suppose. Oh, lovely fish, don't get me wrong, but just want one of these brownies. Ooh. Come out of there, come out of there. Oh, I've got a brown. Yep, yeah. got one of his brownies, that's good. Yeah. Ooh, keep out of there. Oh, don't, don't go in there, don't go in there. That was shallow, that one. Just in a little bit of skin there, look. How he stayed on, I'll never know. Barbless hooks, of course. Let's let him go. He'll go away all right. There she goes. Whoa! That was fast. Loads of life left in that one. Lovely, that's what we came here for. Well, I'll just put it back out there and see if we can get another one of those browns. They're cracking fish in here. Got him. Yeah, lovely, look at that. Beautiful big black spots on him. Look out of those weeds, you. Oh, that's beautiful. That's got to be four pounds out. What fantastic fish. Look at that. Can't hold him. Safely in the net. Look at that for a fish. Prime condition. Look at it. Absolutely gorgeous. Full tail on it. I shall unhook him in the net. Let's him off. Oh, she goes. Ooh, yeah. Wow, that's more like it. Two browns in the last two fish. So we had four rainbows 
and two browns. One was about three and a half, and that was got to be four. Fantastic. Oh, I've changed over to, to the dryers. I've put in a small size 14 black Midas. I'm just going to degrease it. There's fish moving all over the place. Literally all over the place. Everywhere you look, there's fish moving. And the methods that we were using in the other lake is not going to work here because even though he says, Peter says this is the deepest lake out of the two, it, which it probably is, but there's so much weed in it, even, even now. I mean, it's not that much, but to fish sort of other methods, you can fish a floating line or maybe a midge tip with some Dale backs on or something like that, that probably work. But there's nothing better than catching one that dries anyway. He took it. My setup on three springs was a six weight Witchwood rocket floater and 10 foot or six pound fulling mill leader straight through to a size 14 black Midas, which seems to be the killing fly here at Thornwood. Oh, lovely fat rainbow, look at that, beautiful. I think I've just got caught up, haven't I? That was terrible. Had my shot, had my shot. They've gone. Oh no, he's not, he's still there. That's right on, that's on him. Oh, that was perfect. Absolutely perfect. I saw him rise, cast to him, and he just took it. As soon as it hit the water. Good angling, Mr. Pond. The rainbow must be the way it's fighting. Yeah, quite a dark one. Lovely fish. Well, that was lovely, that. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, man. Yes. Not the biggest one in the lake, but pretty. I think you'll find he's gone. There's a few fish rising out there, so I'm going to cast, well, I'm not necessarily going to cast to each individual one, I can get out there, nice long line, just hold it there just for a second. Wait to see if anything comes up for it. Five, maybe 10 seconds, that's all you need. And then a fast figure of eight retrieve back. That's been what they seem to want. I tried it slow and it was, it was working, but. Come on, you spotty little buggers, get out of it. That's the trout god ringing me, I think. Oh, you bugger, that's him. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? That's exactly what they want. Fast figure of eight back. Oh, that's a decent fish there, I think, unless it's gone in the weed. Oh, hang on, hang on a minute. We've got something a bit special on here, I think. <laughs> well, I can't do anything with this fish. I've only got a size, oh, that is a cracker. <laughs> now. That is a cracker, that is, I tell you. That's an exceptional fish, trust me. Oh, look at the colours on that. It is, that's is a big rainbow. Got to be close to double figures, that. You really can't do much with it. I'm not going to bully this in because that hook is so small. That is a good fish, that really is. Oh, that's a big fish, it's like a bloody salmon. Come off of the bottom, you bugger. Oh, look at that paddle on that. But... When he comes close, I will have a stab at him though. Keep down. 
bit, a bit low in the water that might help. Yeah, oh, Jesus Christ. Must be tired now, surely. Wow, look at that lump. <laughs> That's all the 10 pounds. Probably a little bit more. Wow, what a fish. That is something else. That is, that is a beautiful rainbow trout. That is one of the nicest looking trout I think I've ever caught, seriously. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I don't want to mess around him too much because he's a huge, huge, huge fish. I estimate that. That's over 10. Look at the width on that fish. Look at that. What a cracker. No, he's going to go. <laughs> he's going to go. <laughs> well. Just stopped rising, that wind's pushed them down. Let's try a fast figure of eight back. Through that bit of ripple. Oh, straight away, look at that. That works, doesn't it? Just that, that bit of ripple, just put them down, but then just speeding it up a bit, just bring it in and bang. what they want. Give them what they want. Oh, it's nice fish too. I think it might be a brown. It might be. I think it is. That can't be a brown. Not jumping out like that. Do you know what? It is a brown as well. It is. A real lively one. was all tangled up. Look, where's he taken that fly? Right down. You can't argue with the quality of these fish here at Thornwood Springs. Absolutely stunning. Stunning brownies. All the ones we've caught today have been stunning brownies. A little bit lean that one I guess but you'd only expect it this time of the year. Next month they'll be gorging on buzzers. A lovely end to the day. Nice brownie at the end of it. I've had another exceptional day here at Thornwood Springs. It's lived up to its expectations once again. Finished off here on, on, the, on the second lake. And look, there's fish still rising all over the place. Caught loads of fish on dries. Probably our best method on this lake has been casting it out, leaving it static, and then just retrieving it back through that ripple there. Bang! They've been smashing into it. It's been superb fishing. We had an exceptional morning over there on the other lake with the browns, fishing buzzers on the uh, on the bung, on just suspended underneath the indicator. That was great fun. We had some cracking fish up to sort of four pound, and then back into here for the rainbows. Oh, we did have one brown. Last fish was a brown. Absolutely fantastic. But I don't know anywhere close to London that you can get such free rising fish as you get here at Thornwood Springs. I love this place. I really do. We've only been fishing it a couple of years, but you know. It's, you can come here any time of the year almost. Eh, stop it. Jumping all over the place. And you can catch fish on dries. And it's just, just yeah, I think it's just, yeah, fantastic place. It really is. Well, thanks for joining us again. Please don't forget to subscribe. Push that button down there for us. And please don't forget to leave messages for us. We do like reading them. We do try to reply to every single one. Thanks again for joining us. We'll see you again soon. Tight lines. <laughs>